What's going on guys? It is Tizak here back from another tutorial. Today we're going to be making a live USB. Uh, this one is going to be for Antergos, but you can be, uh, basically use this for any uh, thing you need, like uh, Windows, um, Linux, any distribution. Um, but anyway, so what we're first going to do is we're going to go get Rufus. Uh, this is my favorite tool to use. In my opinion, it's one of the best uh, for uh, Windows anyway. And we're just going to scroll down to the download. You can get a portable version, but we'll just get this version for now. Um, and you can check and see if the uh, MD5 and stuff matches if you think you might have a false copy or something. Um, but most likely, it's not going to be most of the time, but that is not a promise. Next, we're going to go get Anergos, because um, that's what this tutorial is for. Let's just make this big so we can get to it a little bit easier. Go to the download. Um, you can torn it, or you could just download it uh, from their site. Either way, they have links for both of it. We're going to get the 64-bit version, uh, so we're just going to download the ISO straight from their site and uh, ISO, ISO, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. Um, but we'll resume with this video when we are done uh, downloading that. All right, once you guys have that downloaded, just go to wherever you have it. So I put it in my um, extra uh, drive here and I made a downloads folder for that. Just it downloads for that automatically. Wherever your downloads are, you can do that. Or if you torrented it, torrented it, then it will be in a different place. But now we can run Rufus. I just copied my location, so it's easier for me to do this. Um, depending on how your BIOS is set up, you will have to choose a different option. For me, it's going to be GT, GPT partition scheme for UEFI. Um, if you're running in UEFI, I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to be. But if you're in Legacy, it may be in this. And there's a truck backing up outside. I don't know if you guys heard that. But we're going to have to open up to this location anyway. See, that's why I kind of copied it there. Make it easier on myself. And it will be called Anergo, so that's fine. Uh, make sure that's not checked. Um, because unless you have an error... You shouldn't need that to be checked. Cluster size, that's all right. And everything is good. Mostly the defaults that are here will be okay. Oh, nope, this changed back. Uh, change it yourself and hit start. Um, yes, wait, 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 no. And no, because this is just trying to download some new stuff and I would not recommend it doing that because the Anagos comes with everything you should need. And we're gonna do this as an ISO instead of a DD image. But if you can't get the ISO to work, then do a DD image. But most of the time the ISO should work and press OK. And that will go through. And it should take a little bit, but uh, not too long. I'm actually just going to let it keep recording. And I'll just cut it to the part where it's actually finished. All right, guys, once you see the screen, it has finished and you are done. And you can go and you can check right now. We can just open this up and go to our Anergos flash drive. You can see it'll be there. You can check it in your PC. Um, there it will be. And you'll have your nice, beautiful USB ready to be used. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to help you. I can either try to link you tutorials um, that I use to learn this or um, different instances. There can be different ways you have to do this. So uh, if I can help you, I'll try my best to do so. But um, I don't have all the answers, unfortunately. Um, but besides that, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.